some of the most impactful books I have ever read are biographies. Uh, and I think the reason biographies are so impactful for me is that in a biography of a believer, you get to see gospel truth embodied in the life of a person who is who's imperfect and flawed and yet being used by God's grace. Uh, you get to see the change process unfold over the course of a lifetime. As you read about this individual, you get to see how their life often had an outsized impact beyond what they thought or knew at the time. Uh, and so I think there's a lot of encouragement for us as believers when we read biographies. It's easy to get discouraged and feel like maybe my life's not making a difference. Maybe change, you know, we get discouraged about how slow change is happening in our lives. In a biography, you get to see in, in, a, in a snapshot the life of an individual in whom God worked and, and who God used for his glory. And so uh, there are so many biographies I've read and enjoyed that I had to knock a lot of them off the list that I would love to recommend. But if I recommended all the biographies that I think are great, uh, this would be a really, really long video. So to try to keep it short, um, let me begin with this series by John Piper. Um, they're, they're, as you can see, they're relatively short books. It's Legacy of Sovereign Joy, The Roots of Endurance, Contending for Our All, and The Hidden Smile of God. Each book contains three mini biographies. Uh, and he traces a theme in the life of each individual. So in The Hidden Smile of God, he covers the life of John Bunyan, William Cooper, and David Brainerd. Um, here you have John Owen, Athanasius, J. Gresham Machen. Um, John Newton, Charles Simeon, William Wilberforce, and here you have Augustine, Luther, and Calvin. Um, and he's, he's added to this. These are the only books in the series that I have, but there are actually, I think, a couple more books now uh, in the series that include others. Uh, great little snapshots of the lives of these individuals, and Piper does a great job of showing how a particular aspect of biblical and theological truth was lived out in the life of that of that individual and serves as an example for us um, to that, that's worthy of emulation. Um, a, a biography that was very meaningful to me when I was younger is Here I Stand, A Life of Martin Luther by Roland Baton. An amazing little biography. Um, this, this book was very formative for me in just helping me see the significance of the Protestant Reformation, the significance of, of Luther responding as he did in, in, in his time. Uh, to the challenges that they faced, and um, and you know he does a great job of showing that Luther is an incredibly flawed individual, and yet you get to see that God took this flawed individual and used him uh, in such a way that benefits us now. Everything that we have inherited as Protestant believers has come to us at least in part through the work, the writings, the life of Martin Luther and the other reformers. So here I stand by Roland Baton, excellent biography. Um, one that's a little bit longer, but, but amazing and I think very accessible is Jonathan Edwards by George Marsden. Um, this isn't the only biography of Edwards that I've read. Um, I've read others that I think are also great. Ian Murray's biography of Jonathan Edwards is, is awesome, but this is probably my favorite. Um, and Edwards' life was so significant. Uh, Edwards was a leader of the First Great Awakening, very influential on David Brainerd, who then became an inspiration for many others in the modern missionary movement. Um, and so, again, you get to see an impact even beyond what these men could see in their day and time, as you see how their lives influenced the lives of others who then carried the gospel to the world. Life of Martin Lloyd-Jones by Ian Murray is an amazing biography. He's one of my uh, pastoral heroes, and um, this is actually a condensed version of a longer biography, a two-volume biography of Lloyd-Jones, uh, but it's a, just an amazing account of uh, this man's life, a man who studied for to, to be a medical doctor and was then called into the ministry and became one of the most influential ministers in London um, during the 20th century. And uh, he was directly um, influential over men like John Stott and J.I. Packer, who then impacted so many others. And then this book by Jonathan Aitken, called John Newton, From Disgrace to Amazing Grace, follows the life of John Newton, former slave trader, um, who was converted and then not only became uh, just a very 
uh, faithful pastor and minister of the word, but also influenced men like William Wilberforce, who then had an impact on eventually abolishing the slave trade. Um, John Newton, again, is just one of those uh, figures who stands out as a giant in um, 18th century Christianity. And so uh, I would encourage this biography for your edification. And then if I may throw in one um, that I don't have on hand, but is one of my favorite biographies. Uh, it's uh, I've read a number of biographies of C.S. Lewis. Um, they all have their merits, but my favorite is one called The Narnian by Alan Jacobs. And so if you're a C.S. Lewis fan um, and you would like to read a very engaging biography of, of Lewis, The Narnian by Alan Jacobs is one that you've got to check out. And then lastly, if I can throw in one more that's uh, not necessarily a biography of a, of a great figure in the church or uh, uh, a Christian figure, but one who was, has been very significant in the history of the 20th century, and that is this biography of Winston Churchill called Churchill Walking with Destiny by Andrew Roberts, one of the finest biographies I've read ever, and uh, so well written. And as you know, as you follow the life of Winston Churchill, you really get to see the events of the 20th century unfold, and you get to see how we how we receive the modern world uh, through the life of this one man who's, whose life touched so many of the events of uh, especially the first half of the 20th century. And so uh, Churchill, Walking with Destiny by Andrew Roberts, amazing, amazing biography, uh, not necessarily for Christian inspiration, uh, but just for an appreciation of how God used men like Churchill um, to, to work in the 20th century and to bring us the world we have, for better or for worse. Uh, it, it really is a compelling biography. So I would just commend all those to you. Um, uh, again, you're welcome to borrow uh, any of them that I actually have on hand and um, hope that they will be uh, refreshing to you, encourage you in your walk with Christ, um, and, uh, and hopefully will provide some good, good conversation for us. I love to talk about the things I read. So I uh, hope that's helpful to you.